And now weather with meteorologist T.J. Springer. Certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. We have some more rain to talk about. I feel like a broken record this week. Welcome back. It's 546. A cold front is moving in and we can see scattered showers and thunderstorms on our satellite and radar imagery. The heaviest to the north and east of Springfield and to the south and west of us in northwestern Arkansas. But we have more out across Kansas that are moving towards. Let's zoom in. Dual pole Doppler radar. Not as many lightning strikes. Still a fair amount. Looks like the hail cores with these cells have definitely diminished. Still maybe some small hail to the south and east of Gladden, uh, just to the west of Bunker there, but it looks like not as great of a chance as what we saw just about half an hour ago or so. Out to our south and west now, northwestern Arkansas, still the heaviest storms right along our southern communities in the viewing area, really from uh, Washington County eastward into Madison County, south of Huntsville, south and east of Fayetteville, right along US 49, heading up into Benton County still. Some showers, and we can see a few in McDonald and Barry County, south and west of Cassville, too. Not too much activity, but still enough to talk about. And we're going to continue to see it work off to the east on future casts as we head through mid to late morning. Here's 8 o'clock. We're still going to see some sunshine today. Not a washout, just like we've seen over the last couple of days. And then we're going to see the potential where that front is this afternoon with some instability attempting to build. Maybe a few showers, thunderstorms that may attempt to become stronger. Something we'll be watching there. But then heading through dinner time, we're starting to see some clearing and through the overnight. That trend will continue, so we will see a lot more sunshine as we head into our Thursday. We do have that risk, though, today, tomorrow, actually, into Friday as well, with another storm system moving our way. But today's risk, definitely the highest south and east of Springfield, southeastern Mo, Arkansas. We see that slight risk. That does mean scattered severe storms could include some gusty wind and some hail. And then tomorrow's risk, really for the wee hours of our Friday, really getting closer to sunrise on Friday morning. We have our next cold from moving in that could bring a low end threat of a couple of storms, which could become severe than Friday's risk throughout the day and the early Saturday morning shifts down to the south and east. I think once we get through Friday, our pattern looking a lot quieter. Here's that live look in Springfield. No rain right now. Taking a peek outside your door, we have 65 degrees with that north to northeast wind coming in at just a over five miles per hour. Dew points are still a little sticky in the low 60s. Temperature wise to our south, Branson, Harrison, Arkansas, mid to upper 60s. We have 63 in Camdenton and Clinton. It is 68 in West Plains. I think we'll be able to sneak back into the 70s and 80s later on today. Pretty seasonable with those hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. That's our big weather headline, of course, today. We do catch that nice break for our day tomorrow on our certified most accurate 70 forecast. We're back into the uh, lower 80s. Friday, 79 with widespread showers and thunderstorms. I still think we'll see some sunshine peaks of it maybe by dinner time. Saturday, warming up into the low 80s. We're really heating things up as this ridge of high pressure builds in. Heading into early next week, we're into the 90s on Sunday. Plenty of sunshine, and we stay in the 90s Monday and Tuesday, Jesse. Mm, pool weather, lake weather. Oh, water, yeah. Be near it. Mm -hmm, and definitely. consume a lot of it as well. Oh, for sure. For sure during those <laughs> days, no doubt. TJ, thanks.